Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and in today's video I'm gonna talk about Android 14 beta 4.1 after using it for a couple of days. Unfortunately there isn't any new features in this build but I'm gonna talk about the performance, the battery and bug fixes and the second section of this video will include some new features that I missed to mention in my previous videos about Android 14. So without further ado, let's jump in. So let's start by talking about the battery before the phone dies because I'm only at 10%. And I'm gonna jump right away to the battery statistics. You will see here I'm getting a total of 5 hours and 44 minutes of screen on time. Uh, I used the phone mainly on Wi-Fi and only 4 hours on cellular data. When you take a look here, I unplugged the phone from the charger at 8 a.m. And that's when I started to use the battery. Now it's Sunday because it's after 12 a.m. And I got a total of 5 hours and 44 minutes. When you take a look here at the apps I used, I used YouTube for 49 minutes, Instagram for 43 minutes, YouTube Music for 44 minutes, Chrome 31 minutes, Facebook 31 minutes, YouTube Studio 48 minutes, some WhatsApp for 15 minutes, and the Pixel Launcher for 30 minutes, and so on. So I think the battery usage is about the same as the stable version for me. Also keep in mind that the smooth display was activated the whole day, the display resolution is set to the maximum, and starting 20% I used the battery saver mode, the standard one, not the extreme. So if you take a look here, you will see standard, and that's exactly what I'm getting with Android 14 Beta 4.1. But let me also show you what happened on Friday. Here I have a screenshot, and I got four hours of screen on time, and the battery was at 4%. I only used cellular data, without any Wi-Fi connection throughout the day. I unplugged the phone at 8 a.m. And you will see here the usage. I used Messenger for video calling for 23 minutes, YouTube 36 minutes, WhatsApp 25 minutes, Google Photos 31 minutes, Google Chrome 8 minutes, and you can see the rest of the numbers. Uh, so I think the battery life is not great on cellular data, but it's not too bad in my opinion because I also used the phone under direct sunlight for about an hour which is not too bad uh, based on my previous history with the Pixel 7 Pro. Now let's talk about the performance and I have to say that I'm really impressed by the big jump in performance after installing Android 14. Everything is very smooth and there is no lag, no shutter whatsoever. The scrolling is great. So I don't have any problems when it comes to performance and it's much better than Android 13. I also found that the thermal management is noticeably better. So for example, when I used to make a video call for 30 minutes, the phone reaches 45 degrees or higher, and that's when I start to see lower refresh rate and lower brightness, but now it averages between 41 to 42 degrees under the same conditions. So most probably I will redo the heavy workload test and also the 4K60 video recording after installing Android 14 on the 7 Pro to see if that's actually true. So stay tuned for this one. Now let's talk about the bug fixes. And if you take a look at the release notes of beta 4.1 you will find tons of bug fixes on the website so i'm gonna leave the link in the description if you want to take a look at them and for me i don't have any problems on the 7 pro everything works perfectly and i don't have anything to report but i found one huge improvement in my opinion which is the speaker's sound quality now let's talk about the new features i missed to mention in my previous videos and the first one is related to the battery saver when the phone reaches 10 percent you will get a floating pop-up suggesting to switch to the extreme battery battery saver instead of keeping the standard option and here you have the ability to switch right away from the floating card or tap on no thanks to keep using the standard option. The second change is under settings and then battery and if you don't have the battery widget already added to your home screen you will get the option here to add the battery widget and when you do so then tap on add to home screen it will add it automatically for you change number three is under settings and then about phone and when you tap on the phone model now you can see the manufactured year another change in the about screen is the information is now hidden so for example the IMI eye is hidden and if you want to reveal it you need to tap on the item while here on my 7a running android 13 the information is already showing next under settings and then system and then multi users now when you try to add a new user you will get this new pop-up saying when you add a new user that person needs to set up their, their space any user can update apps for all users and then you can tap on next to start the process the second change is the ability to choose much more profile pictures for the other users. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes I wanted to show you and my experience with Android 14 beta 4.1. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. 
But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.